updating you guys on the build. Franken wagon. All right, so key forward. As you notice, my security light will come on, but then it goes off. So we fixed that. I'll tell you guys how I fixed that. First thing first was the tune file. Well, first thing first, let's go around to the front of the car. Okay, so we'll go around back to get around front. When I had mentioned before, it was two circuits that was different from the V6 to V8. Well, the V6 had two pins there. You can see them to the right, two tan pins to the right. Whereas the V8 on its connector, the V8 engine harness that's coming in here, plugged into the V6 here, those two pins were not there. I noticed up front, it was a connector that was missing up here, but the two pins were just hanging out. I noticed that when I put the harness on the car and I thought to myself, I, I even mentioned I was filming and I said that those two wires looked like data, serial data wires. One was tan, one was tan with the black stripe. Well, when I initially put the PCM in and I keyed forward, I kept getting a message on HP tuners that was saying no van detected. So for all intents and purposes, I disconnected the battery in the back, came back up front, pins 53 and 33 on the gray connector are the serial data wires that leave the processor. Serial data wires, 53 and 33. I used my multimeter and I owned from the engine connection here over to the wires up here in the front. And sure enough, I had continuity on those two wires. So temporarily, this is just temporarily, using alligator clips, I extended, I cut the ends of the, uh, the pins off since they were the spade connectors. I just pushed them into this connector. I'm gonna go and get the correct pins that go in and I'm gonna extend the wires the correct way. Um, it's either two ways I could do it. I could either peel back all of the loom and pull the wires back, do it that way. I could even, since this is so close, I could even go into the harness here and then run them over. That would probably be the simplest thing to do. Or I could run them all the way over here. But if I choose to go closest to the PCM and just tap into the data wires and run them over to the connector, then I'll need to uh, make sure that I terminate these so that they won't come in contact with anything and cause any problems later. So anyway, once I ran those alligator clips and made the connection for the serial data wires, when I keyed forward and I logged on with HP tuners, immediately I was able to read the engine computer and the trans computer. Well, I'll show you now. See, I have nothing loaded and I am going to do a read entire and watch what comes up. Bam. And here's the other thing that I ran into. So let's do this. I don't wanna read this. It's already there and I'm not gonna read this. It's already gonna take two minutes to just read the computer, the engine computer itself. Okay, so basically this operating system number here was the operating system number from the van that this transmission came out of. So what I had to do was I had to license an entire tune file for CTSV. And this is my buddy's CTSV here. And then I did a right entire, but I only did a right entire on the transmission. Um, and once I did the right entire on the transmission, now I have that tune file updated to the trans. The other thing that I had to do was I was getting a security light, a theft deterrent light. And as you guys know, the ignition switch I had to change, change that out. I did the key learn. Once I did the key learn, when I had the V6 in, I was able to start the car up and run it with the new ignition switch, new transponder, new key. Well, with the new PCM, 
I ended up getting a theft deterrent again. And when I did some research, what I found out was the key has a transponder in it and it communicates with the transponder inside the ignition, uh, inside the column. Uh, once that key, the, the, the transponder in the condoms uh, a column sees that key and it is satisfied, then it sends out a code, okay to start code to the ECU. Well, the ECU looks for the specific code that came from the column that it was with. So I had to do a key learn again with this ECM install. Once I was able, once I did that, and, and when you do the key relearn, you basically, you blow out all the other keys. Uh, I had to do it for both keys. And then I did download some software and I got this other tuning cable and I was able to also program the cluster after that. So essentially, um, when I key forward, my fuel pump primes, I'm ready to go. Um, you can hear my throttle body, just listen. Okay, it was flashing, that's why. I mean, it was breathing. Okay, so we're gonna close that. I'm gonna rock the key back. I'm gonna rock the key back forward. And maybe because I took the key out. But in any event, um, the throttle body, it moves in the fuel pump primes and everything. So I have communication. Um, the, the only thing I need to do now is get my coils and stuff installed. There's a few other things that I need to do in the interim. Uh, coils, accessories in the front, and then I'll be ready to start it up and get it going.